Okay. So. Um. Where was I? I yeah, I can see where someone who um, works a regular job and uh, you know would you know would never be able to afford a three hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini unless they wanted to live in a fucking tent, I guess. Would think, wow, I could, you know my dream car, twenty to forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. They could actually swing because fuck, I mean, let's face it, a brand new fucking pickup truck these days is 70 grand if you want the nice one, you know, if you want like leather seats and, you know, the, the, the amenities they offer such as, uh, you know, like the heated seats and heated steering wheels and remote starts and things they offer these days. And a, a brand new pickup truck is 70 fucking thousand dollars these days. Um... So, you know, it's just, my main reason for wanting to discuss this today, though, was, is, um, I don't want people to think that because SC is a bullshit company, that all replica car companies are bullshit, because that's not true. That's not true at all. There are some extremely extremely reputable exotic car replica companies that uh, will build you an amazing car. Um, People probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, Unless they were like a real, 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 you know, car enthusiast. They wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But the catch to that is, is those companies' cars are um, significantly more expensive. Um, I wish I could remember the name of the company that builds the cars for Fast and Furious because I'd really like to give them a shout out because their replica cars are of super, 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 super quality. Um, as a matter of fact, when I'm, um, down in Los Angeles at my house there, a lot of the exotic car dealerships even sell them. Um, now they don't try to claim they're real. I'm not trying to say they're trying to scam people, but they sell them as a replica. But, um, you know. You're also going to get a little bit of a dealer markup on that because of, you know, this and that. Because the way they do it is realistically you have a few options. You you buy a kit, okay, now, unless you know a, a, a super lot about, you know, automotive um, building and engine building and things like that that I don't know dick about um you know i'm a bodybuilder so um you'd also have to pay so like you you pay 50 grand okay so here's here's how it read when i looked at it okay you're getting a handmade tubular chassis which is sweet um handmade and hand design you know designed specifically for the car you're ordering okay you're getting an all steel body um you're getting um the interior but you're not getting an engine drivetrain transmission or wheels and tires so you're looking at probably 70 grand by the time you're done. Plus, unless you know how to build it, you're going to be paying somebody probably close to 10 or 15 to build the fucker for you too. But at the same time, what I'm saying is is you get what you pay for. Um, so that still affords people the opportunity to get a Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever, um, for under a hundred thousand dollars, uh, replica, 
that is of top-notch fucking quality, um, and you're still saving, you know, two or three hundred grand, depending on, you know, what car you choose, what model you choose, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the fact that there's so many videos on YouTube right now exposing SC, I don't want people to think that all replica car companies are crap because they're not like there's some really fucking good reputable car replica car company replica replica car companies out there um and uh the other thing i want to talk about a little bit more about is and i only have a few minutes left here because i have to delete some videos to get some more time Is you guys know how I hate banks. And the reason I hate banks is because, like, if you use a debit or credit card, some places will just run it as credit without telling you. Most of the restaurants mostly will do that. Some places say we don't have a debit option. Now, the thing that happens is, um, you might write down in your register that you've spent that money, okay? But now this business may not hand in their fucking receipts or whatever, or their credit card slips or however that works. I, you know, I don't own a business. So, um, for a month or two, you know? So, like, you might go along thinking you're all good, and then one day you go to the bank, and all of a sudden, you know, you're short two or three hundred dollars that you thought you had that you may have ate like a dinner at Boa or whatever, you know, a month ago and thought that it had already been withdrawn. They hadn't fucking handed it in yet. And the bank gives you no warning. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no type of like, you know, email obviously they're not going to call you, but, like, they could email you or something and, like, let you know, hey, you know, this much money was just taken out of your account for X business where you purchased, you know, whatever, X product. Now, that doesn't really affect me because I I do keep some a lot of my money in, in a bank, but I also keep a lot of money with me, um, you know, it's easy to keep a lot of your cash with you when you have, you know, a loaded gun in every room of your house and, you know, a loaded gun with you at all times, um, you know, and it's in a safe, so, like, someone comes to try to break into my house to steal a hundred grand out of my safe, First off, they have to try to get into the safe. And second off, they have to try to do it without getting shot. Because um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know um, my past, the things I've done, and people I've worked for, and um, my associates, and um, people that I spend time with. And you would know that it would be an extremely bad idea to come to this particular house or any of my houses and try to rob them um, because it just would. Um, yesterday, um, I made a video um, ta exposing uh, um, an eBay um, poser who I, I stripped of a Hells Angels um, top-bottom rocker middle death head and a, a completely wrong MC patch now um, these things are available you know like you can buy them on eBay it's a terrible fucking idea though, because um, you know uh, you run into a real hell's angel and they're gonna not only take it from you they're gonna kick your ass and or worse you know depending on who you run into 
So like, you know, don't 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 buy this shit. Like if you want to support the club, buy support gear. You know what I mean? Buy support shirts, you know. They're out there. You know, you can buy them. Most chapters have a website, you know. Um when I was in um San Fernando Valley, they had a website to get their support gear. San Francisco has a website for their support gear. Um Purdue, San Diego, or Dago, um, Oakland, the mother chapter. Um, but yeah, most uh, Sonoma, like any um, any chapter, even uh, you know, even Whiskey Town around here has um, uh, um, you know a website where you can get their support gear. And when I was discussing real um bike clubs and and how they work yesterday one of the things that got left out because i was going to talk about it on the walk when i didn't have any battery was um i mean we talked about hanging around the prospecting phase and all that there's a few other things that that are also required a um at least in the hell's angels You have to have at least six members, and that's because there are, um, you know, there's that many officers, at least, in a chapter. You know, you go president, vice president, road captain, sergeant of arms, treasurer, you know, like, that's five people right there. So, you know, um, you have to have at least six members, um, you know, we, but we talked about a lot of this yesterday. I don't want to get back into bike club stuff today. Anyway, um, so I'm about three weeks in to my um, return to bodybuilding after an eight-month hiatus. Um, I've already put on close to 30 pounds um, from where I was. Um, and mind you, in that eight months, I, 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 in that eight months, I didn't touch a weight. I didn't eat five or six meals a day. Um, any of that, so like you know, it was it, it was this comeback has been like one of my hardest because of that. Um, like I mean, my first chest day, I could barely push the hundred pound dumbbells for ten. But so I took the day off yesterday, so I'm gonna be doing chest again today. I'll be back to chest again. I, I did rotate through the body parts. I don't want to think I'm only doing chest, but like it's it's my chest day again today. I think, I think chest, I'll either do chest or, or possibly, um, maybe just a really easy day of like forearms, calves and traps or something. But anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about, um, that fake, um, replica car company, let you know there's some good ones out there and, uh, give a quick update on where I'm at with my bodybuilding and um, I just got home from the walk, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to eat my fifth meal, I'm going to hang out for a while, I'm going to train, possibly make another video tonight. Anyway, God bless.